Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on creating a tileable texture map uh, for use in video games or 3D animation, something like that. Uh, we have here a wall texture or a, uh, a rocky texture. You can download it from my website. It's called wall.jpg. Uh, I've also created uh, my own blank white uh, page. This page is double the size in both ways of the original image. So uh, if you take a look at image, image size, my original image is 800 by 600. Uh, and I've gone and made a brand new image that is uh, 1600 by 1200. And this is the image that we're going to use to see how well it tiles. So let's start over on the wall JPEG. Um, this is a pretty easy process actually and one that you can spend quite a bit of time fine-tuning depending on how detailed you want to get. Uh, what we're going to do is very quickly add a filter, other, offset. And it's, it doesn't really matter what you offset, but what you're going to see here is you're going to see where the seam goes. So I've done mine 400, which is half uh, the width, by 300, which is half the height. And I've made sure wraparound is turned on. It doesn't matter where you go. Um, you just need to see where the seam is. And you can see this is the area that we're going to have trouble with. So click OK to that. Now, there's a bunch of ways of doing this. And I have another tutorial online about doing it uh, just by cutting and pasting little chunks. There's a, a sort of an easy way to do it here by using the spot healing uh, brush tool. Turn on the spot healing brush tool. Um, pick a size for this image. I'm going to choose something about 45. Uh, make sure uh, that it's hard. Okay, you don't want to have a, a soft brush for this. You want a hard brush. Um, I'm also going to turn on content aware. Okay, and I can just go through in small bursts right along the seam, and it's not going to do a bad job of sort of approximating the colors and some of the lines and uh, some of the patterns that we find in the original image. So uh, I'm, I'm doing lots of little short clicks here. Now this works reasonably well, but it's, it's not great. You're going to see that there are some definite issues. Uh, there's some smudges, there are some blurry areas. At this point though, let's just see how this looks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Edit, Define Pattern, and we'll name it. I'll call it Wall 1. And OK. And then I'm going to go to my new untitled document that's 1600 by 1200. Edit Fill. And I'm going to use a pattern. And I'm going to choose Wall 1. There it is. OK, so this is, this is pretty good. Um, the original image, though, you're going to see it has some sort of beigey areas and then some gray areas. And so because it's repeating, it's going to be beigey areas and then gray areas. Not bad. Um, but I, I don't know if I really like that. And there's a bunch of things I could do. I could go through and color correct uh, just part of it. Um, another issue that I have here is that I see this sort of the same rock appearing a bunch of times. There are a couple of rocks in here that are going to be distinctive enough that I don't want them to keep showing up. So let's go back to our wall JPEG. What I like to do at this point is just take a lasso tool. And uh, what I want to do is I want to copy some of this beige on top into the gray below. And uh, that will hopefully uh, just make the two meet up a little bit. I'm going to make sort of a strange uh, organic um, selection on top, just like that. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste. So Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to uh, go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Okay, and move down, and I'll do Edit transform and flip vertical. And this way at least I'm, I'm kind of away from the, uh, uh, hopefully there's going to be very little recognizable patterns between the two. Now it still doesn't look right. So I'm just going to take a regular eraser. Um, I've got a pretty big size here. I've got a uh, size of about 60. I'm going to soften this. Okay, so I'm going to take my hardness and I'll, uh, I'll bring it down to zero. Uh, I have a 20% opacity, which is about right. And all I want to do is I want to sort of go through and I'll have to click often. Uh, I'm going to go through and very slowly reveal some of the rocks that I want to reveal and hide some of the rocks that I don't want. And I'm just going around the outline of this other one. So you can see, you know, because this is a pretty chaotic image, I, I don't really need to be so um, precise in certain areas. Um, I'm, a, I'm sorry for all the annoying clicking that's going on, but uh, I'm just very slowly going through, doing lots and lots of clicking, and 
making sure that I'm revealing any areas of rocks that I like and they, they basically just will blend together so right here you can see I've got two rocks here um, they've blended together really nicely um, you know sort of depending on the image this works better uh, at some times than at other times but here I go I'm just gonna go around I see this nice little area of rocks showing up all the way here we go I have to go a little faster Okay, now, just looking at this before I've even tested it out, um, I'm starting to notice that there's still this sort of smudgy section in the middle, so I'm going to have to do something about that, but all right, there we go. I've just gone around the entire edge. I've revealed a bunch of rocks that I want to reveal. I've hidden a few that I want to hide. Um, I've looked to see if there's any areas that I, I like or don't like. The only area I don't like is dead center here, so uh, I'm just going to flatten this image sorry layer flatten image I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm just going to grab uh, a nice little detailed area I like maybe I'll take this detailed area right there it's got some grass in there too copy and paste control C control V move it right over top great and I'll do the same thing maybe with a smaller brush this time I'll just uh, shrink it down and uh, here we go one more time lots of clicking I'm going to go around. Now remember, every time you click, you're, you're deleting some of the pixels from this new layer that we just copied and pasted. Um, uh, and at the same time, you're revealing some of the stuff below. So hopefully, um, yeah, just to speed things up, I'm going to increase my opacity so it goes a little bit faster. There we go. I don't have to click quick so much. Okay. Now, normally I would spend a little more time doing this and really look for my for some of the areas that I wanted to pop out and what I what I wanted to hide. But here we go, we've gone all the way around. That's not too bad, okay? Look at that. Let's uh, flatten this, layer, flatten image. Okay, edit, define pattern. This time we'll call it wall two. And okay, and I'll go to my untitled. So this is my original wall before the changes. I'm gonna make a new layer and fill this with a pattern. Edit, fill, and this time I wanna use the pattern wall two. We'll see what the difference is. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so if you just look at the difference there, um, the first one that we did, which was fine, it's great, um, but the original image had some light and dark areas that I wanted to uh, hide a little bit. And so here's my new one. Pretty good. I think that's uh, quite seamless. We could tile that a bunch of times, make a really nice uh, rocky beach. Uh, okay, check out my other tutorials. Hope you like this one. Bye-bye.